Hello everyone, Allie here and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you for joining me here on another episode at Allie's Treasure Trove. Today we do have a new episode of Allie Plays and I'm continuing that video from not last week, but the week prior, so two weeks ago now, where I was going back through again and trying as the robot here. So I'm very excited to continue to slay the spire and although I'm not 100% certain how we were doing. I think we we're doing quite well. But I do remember that I did tell you guys that after we complete this run, next time I play Slay the Spire, I will be as that fourth character. I believe she's called the Watcher. So then I'll fully unlock the kind of end game, needing the keys to go actually fight the heart. So I will do that, even though, like I said, I'm not good at that Watcher character. I'm abysmal at it, but I do think I need to run through the game as her, whether on video or off video. That way I can unlock the full experience here to Slay the Spire, because I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I'm not doing the full thing. So even when it's like, oh, we won with the robot, um, did we really... Anyways, so I'm excited to continue here. It has been, like I said, a couple weeks since I've been able to play. Last week uh, was was definitely tied up with just catching up with things, being tired, and not, not really wanting to commit to a 40-minute video on a Wednesday night. But what did we pick here last time? I could have cheated and checked prior to starting, but I figured I'd just go into it. Uh, you know, Charge Battery Plus isn't that bad, but I'm not sure if we really need Block. Let's go ahead and take a look at her deck, re-familiarize ourselves with our little setup here. Alright, Bias Cognition, so we want to be using this actively, having orbs, generating orbs, because it does come high risk, high reward, so you do get the 5 focus, but you will keep losing focus until it gets to zero. Then your Electric Orbs, your Cold Orbs, Frost Orbs. What are these actually called? What are the lightning orbs, frost orbs, and dark orbs just do absolutely nothing once you get to zero focus? So, not sure if we want to necessarily be blocking a lot because we do have the frost orbs. But I do like that it gives you energy, so it's better than playing a regular defend. And I don't want to take zero cost stuff, so I think I will take the charge battery. And let's continue here. Alright, we have these guys. She heals him and he attacks. Do we want to start off with a bi biased cognition? I'm not so sure about that here, just because you do need to get rid of the mystic before you can really start going in on the centurion. Okay. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Don't really want to lose my electric orb. And we just looked it up. It's called Lightning Orb, but still. Hmm. How risky are we feeling? How risky are we feeling? YOLO. Bias Cognition. Just said I wouldn't do it. Heal 2 with the urn? Nice. I like that item. That's a good item. Tiny house is used up. Ink bottle. Play 10. Draw 1. Elites have 25% less, and of course our cracked core. Okay, so we did lose a focus. Need to keep our head in the game here. Alright, so each unique orb, if we had her set up a little bit different, if it was Frost, Electric, Frost, could use the Darkness to draw three, but we'll draw two here. Alright, Compile Driver. That's 21 damage. Alright, no. Ah, for each unique as well, so it did seven. Okay. Pretty sure I grabbed the wrong thing there. I was trying to zap. Yes. Okay. What did I even play on accident? Defend. Or was it charge battery? No. What did I even play? Had to be a defend, right? Yeah, had to be a defend. Oopsies. Okay, so... A little bit of an oopsies there. Lives on one. Very rude. Very rude. Huh. 
need to be able to do a decent amount of damage here. Hmm. Definitely put ourselves on a clock, maybe a bit too early. If we need to next turn, I'll throw the fire potion. Channel some lightning here. So we're getting into danger focus territory. Alright. Negative one right now. Definitely want to. Finish this up. I think we'll be good. Darkness is kind of useless right now. Need to go for damage. take eight here. No, we'll take seven. But we'll get another electric, so that'll pop. Yeah, we can finish him off this turn, that's fine. Alright. Crisis averted. Did take a little bit extra damage. But... Cool-headed plus, not bad. Take that. Let's see if there is a way I want to go in particular. Fighting the Hexaghost up there. Not the easiest boss. Not the worst. Not the easiest. We have chests. Alright, cool. Whenever I add an attack, upgrade it. I like it. Elite start with 25% less. Thank you, Preserved Insect. Appreciate it. Get some chill. Nice. Well, let's get that back. Yeah, get a dark orb. Pretty nice little roundabout there on our orbs. Now if we get a barrage, we still get the three, but we pull compile driver. Does more, draws more. This does finish him off. Any zero casts here? Nope. Alright. Taking quite a bit. Really need to upgrade buffer to buffer plus. Two for just one, one block is not the greatest. Free to buy his cognition here, I believe. Save that chill. No, I'm entangled. Cannot attack, but I can. Static discharge. And I can dual cast. Nice. Alright. Yeah. 
I want to finish him off with that orb. Look at that, 39 damage. So what happens when you let the darkness orb sit. Hey, a pair! Nice. Raised our, ra raised our max HP by 10. Mm, skip these. Kaka! Let's draw some cards, see what other options we have. Alright, we can chill. Hmm. We want to go for damage. Yes. Instead of just the one buffer. Definitely need to upgrade that buffer to buffer plus ASAP. Alright. Good way to take no damage here. That's good just for the extra energy next turn. <laughs> we have so much block right now. It's ridiculous. Too bad we don't have calipers. Then we wouldn't lose that block. Darkness. That's compile driver. Draw three. Into another compile driver. Nice. And we're gonna take a little bit, so let's get static discharge going. Getting strong. This is gonna hit for 16, that's good. Nice, that's what I wanted. Then, get another darkness going. And the cool headed. Can't do anything with it, but wanted to proc the orb. We'll take 12 here. Well, Take 11. They're getting quite strong. Nice. We have enough chills. Ooh. Blizzard Plus, though. That's nice. Take that. Question mark. Chest and the campfire. Do you want to take the campfire? One time, maybe we should heal. Definitely coming up against the Hexaghost. Do need to upgrade Buffer Plus as well. So let's head to that question. It's a shop. Don't have much. Oh. -ho. I do like Capacitor, though. Capacitor would be really helpful. So we can definitely handle more orbs. Thank you, good sir. Chest. Meat on the bone. Nice if you're at 50% or below heal 12. Great item. Who are we coming up against? We can smith the buffer. Just a regular enemy. Famous last words, right? Just a regular opponent coming up next. We're fine. Mm. These two are kind of annoying, but could be worse, could be worse. Do, 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 do. Capacitor. Zap. And do we want to take no damage or this would be 10 block. Take six. We can take six. I didn't do my math right. Something happened there. Ah, yes, because I didn't play defend. That's what it was. Makes sense. Ooh. We should chill. 
15 to both. Oh, let's cool headed. Eighteen to both sounds good to me. Especially because we got bias cognition into infinite defense. Nice. When you can make the frost orbs work, they work really well. Alright, deal ten, draw two. Hmm. Barrage does a lot here. Hello. Nice. Alright, so we won't be taking any unblocked damage, so I don't need to play Static Discharge. However, Static Discharge does heal us two from the urn. That one put us over half, so then we actually net 14 at the end of the battle. At, in, well, from 26. 42. It's gonna have eight. So I have to do 50 next turn. Um, do it. Ooh, nice. Then you'll be dead to the electric. Nice. End turn. Zapped. Nice. Oh. Pure potion. Apply three vulnerable. What we have here is pretty good. Let's see. Add a card to your deck. Ball lightning plots. I like it. Do we need it though is the question. It's definitely better than a regular strike. I'm gonna take it. Hopefully we can sell. Now I want to look at the map. We do have another rest area, so let's see what we can smith. Barrage Plus would be pretty handy. Hmm. Where I have one innate one, don't want to have two. That's actually good to leave as is. Do we want three orb slots? Six for each orb. Or the compile driver. This nets us more damage. These two are good, but this nets more right now, so. Especially when we have five orbs up. Ah, this pair again. Welcome back, except not really. I thought we had a... I thought we had an innate chill. Apparently not. Apparently I just can't look at my deck. We've just been having to get it in the first hand a lot. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So we are going to start off capacitor. Take that zap. Hello, welcome. Charge battery. And we're gonna defend. Okay. Let's see what we draw. Barrage at two is not great, but... Does 12 over a strike. Well, 6 over 1 strike. 2 strikes for the cost of 1. Do we buy his cognition? Yes. Risking it for the biscuit. Going a little aggro. We have, we have definitely ways to attack physically if needed. Nice. Both hits there on the, the healer. I like that. Hmm. 
Let's see what happens here. Okay, both hit. Not. I was hoping one would hit. 50-50 shot. Could finish her off the strike, though. Definitely still worth it. It's a lot of defense. It's a lot of damage. Like I said, when the orbs work well, this I feel like is peak orbs. Knock on wood. Anytime I say we're doing well, we end up losing, like, immediately next. So, fingers crossed, nothing happens. But, we are doing pretty good here. Thank you, Urn. Healing to you. Gain 10 block, channel 2 frost, glacier, great, glacier plus. I do like doom and gloom plus, although I don't know how many multi enemies we're going to have left. We're only on floor 2, right? We should only be on the second stage, but we've been here for 45 minutes, so I might just be incredibly slow. How many floors are in a regular? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, so we're on floor 2. So... I'm gonna take the Doom and Gloom. Do like Dark Orbs. Mixing it up a little bit. This is one of them scam question marks. Rude! Capacitor. Zappy poo. I mean, we draw one. Haha. -ha. All lightninged up. We're not taking anything this turn, so not bad, not bad. I should. I want to say, I want to use that ritual potion once we get to the Hexaghost. Go! Ooh, a whole three damage. Mmm. The Roughman here. Hello? We're just gonna yell at Bias Cognition, hope that two of the uh, lightning orbs hit this first cultist. And then we only take- we only take five. That's the goal. Let's see how that works! Hit that end turn button! Didn't happen. It hit one! We had to take ourselves down a notch. We're getting a little too close to being at 50% health. We need to proc the meat on the bone. Alright, we want to chill. Let's chill out, everybody. Just chilling. Stacking up Blizzard Plus. I want Static Discharge heal a little bit. Some more blizzards up in here. Get a darkness or darkness. Hey, barrage. What's up? Doom and gloom. Haha. -ha. I want to slam this guy with a blizzard plus. Since we opened with it and I couldn't use it. I want to slam this dude with a blizzard plus. Cool headed. Just sit here chilling. We can, we can strike him out. Yeah, we can't. We can't barrage. Well. I'm just going to strike him out. I don't want us to get another electric orb. And then... He dies. I want him to die to the blizzard. See? 
Well, just chilling there down at the bottom. I don't want to take damage, so we are going to obliterate this guy with a darkness orb. Did I still healed? Haha. Uh -huh. The claw. I like claws. Of course, the run where I'm not playing zero cost, I'm not playing a claw deck, is when we get all the claws. So we're going against the Hexa Ghost. Blizzard Strat doesn't work super well here because it's just the one dude. Unless I'm just completely wrong about it being the Hexa Ghost. What should we upgrade? Shweel! Uh, mm. uh, how well do I trust myself? I don't feel like we have more than one darkness up at the same time, so that that's a good upgrade, but not not I think maximizing what we have here. Compile driver is good, but I think overall the capacitor helps more. Wait, no, oh. that's why I was like, why are we looking at so much stuff that's upgraded? So weird to not have an upgraded dual cast. Be like, I actually have to hard cast it for one. Makes no sense. But it's working out for us. Maybe that's the tech. Don't upgrade dual cast. You can play orbs. All right, let's go with. Well, actually, I think in terms of the hexa ghost, right? Now I'm not sure it's a hexa ghost, but the shape. Ugh. I think actually in terms of hexa ghost, this is if it is. Now I'm not certain. Now I'm just second guessing everything, uh, because it does a lot of multi attacks times six because it's a hexa ghost. So if it cuts through, even if it's one times six, that's six orbs. So I'm gonna take the static discharge. And then watch it, like I said, not be the Hexa Ghost. It's not. Okay. This still, I think, works in our favor. Let's just start off. Ball Lightning. Chill. Ooh, a whole three damage on that Blizzard. I did say I wanted to drink this. A call! Strike. Draw two. Anything free? No. Okay. That is one thing I will admit I'm very bad about in this game, is recognizing which one is which. Okay, this, however, this is a good setup. These guys are super annoying. I'm taking a lot of damage. Thought I said I don't take damage. Taking 19. If I knew it would have worked out like this, should have hard ca should have cast bias cognition turn one. But sometimes this this battle takes a long time. I think this will be good. Eight. Eight times five, doing forty. Eliminate this little dude. I think we get rid of this guy. Well, let's take a little chill pill first. Okay. Hmm. 
We're gonna drink the flex potion here. 18 damage. 14 damage. Okay. So close. What are you plotting over here, collector? What are you collecting? That looks like uh, status abilities I don't want to collect, personally. Uh, can I return these? What about... Can I, can I exchange these for a gift card? Store credit? I don't want this. So we have... We're vulnerable right now. 25% less block. 25% less attack. Okay. Okay. Aight. Aight. This guy has question marks. He's probably summoning another little dude. We're... We're... We're getting smartened up here. I didn't get to check what the blizzard would be at right now. Should have checked prior. Wait, wait, ooh, 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 ooh. I was like, what's happening here? Let me go press the button. Ooh, 14 to all enemies. This is a lot of incoming damage. Barrage is so good in a situation like this. Ah. Hmm. I do think I want to let a darkness cook. Alright, so what's going on here? Where's my status? Gain. 25% less block. So we're going to... 8. That's not enough. Did I just... Did I just throw the game? Did I throw? Yeah. I did. Unfortunate. Oh! What? I don't know what happened. Somehow? I don't think that was supposed to happen. what it is, is we're getting 25% less block from block cards, not block orbs. Ooh, hacks. Hacks. So therefore, I should cool-headed. I don't know if it'll be enough. Can we get chill? No. Ah, man. Man, I've been horrible at this game as of late. Oof. Oof. The question is, what did I do wrong? Did it happen when... Alright, if I didn't get rid of that one little dude that was at one, and I let him live, would only a fresh single one would have been summoned? And then I would have been able to eliminate both of them and only take the X amount of damage. Maybe. 
If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section down below, because we're about to lose here. I only know what to cast for a last card. Well, we could draw something free. Okay, or not. Or we could just not draw something free. Mm. Okay. That might have been it. That might have been it. Might have only some. If he only summoned one, we would not be in this predicament. Fun fact, I know I've mentioned this before. I know my head's blocking it up here in the top right corner. I'm usually in the bottom right. Top right, though. If you hit X, if you X out of the game before you, like, get the you died screen, you can try again. But, game five of the Stanley Cup Finals started at 8, and it's 8.21 p.m. on Wednesday night. So, maybe I subconsciously threw the game so I could go watch. Ah, but we were doing so well, too. I said, this is the power of orbs. Orbs are so good. I'm doing so good this run. This is how it happens. This is how it happens. I just gotta say my deck is trash the entire playthrough. Otherwise, I will lose. That was very unfortunate. Stuffed. Increase your max HP by 30 plus. You love to see it. Oh, I love up in my max HP. You know, I never put my phone on a do not disturb mode. So if I get a phone call, it's gonna ring. Let me, uh... Do that right now, just in case. All right. So. It's funny. We got, like, a whole entire run's worth of activity in these two videos, but we didn't even get through the second floor. Ah, <laughs> uh, but this was fun. Man, like I said, when I get the orbs to work, they work. I just, I prepared for the Hexaghost. And I was like, wait a minute, that's not the Hexaghost. And I didn't trust myself there. I was like, oh, I'm just overthinking things. It's fine. So it was not fine. It's unfortunate can't exchange those status effects. I don't really play much that gives artifact. Artifact blocks the first status effect that you try to inflict. Sometimes just getting a potion for artifacts is good to have. Sometimes buying an item that gives you one artifact. To do that, though, we would have needed to have money. I didn't even look at the items in the shop this this the shop visit just because we didn't have the money to buy anything. Everything was red. Couldn't buy it. And I was like, all right, won't even look at it. Capacitor was definitely a good pickup. I don't think we would have done better if we had upgraded Capacitor to Capacitor Plus instead of Static Discharge. I don't think that affected anything. I think it's just... not wanting to turn one... Bias cognition, not wanting to accept the fact that it wasn't the Hexaghost. Now that I think about it, I think Hexaghost is only like a tier 1 boss, level 1 boss. Alright, interesting here. I feel like there's a lot to learn from this playthrough, but I'm not thinking of it at the moment. But like I said, once you get Frost Orbs and Electric Orb Synergy, it works out well. Did I ruin it by throwing in the dark trying to do too much? I think that is something I do. I try to do a little bit too much with the robot. Now that I understand how he works, it's like, oh, if I combine a little bit of everything. If you combine a little bit of everything, it's just like, it's. it reminds me of the way I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, oh, I know how to play the game, you know, I play a little bit of this, and you know, if I have this card in this situation to work really good, it'd be super cool. Just top deck it, slam it down, and be like, bro, you just got destroyed. But that's not how it works. You need to make sure you want your deck to be small. You want it to be consistent. You don't want to cycle through and be like, man, I, I really wish we could hit Blizzard, but I have too much stuff in my deck and I can't get there. So we didn't, we didn't lose because of that, but that is something I noticed earlier. Should have probably stopped taking cards. But sometimes you get presented with something like, that card's good. Just because it's a good card doesn't mean you add it to your deck. So. Not sure how I could have played that battle differently. Like I said, you can X out the button to see. And you could keep going and seeing like where exactly you messed up. Because it reloads the same deck order and everything. So, if it's an unbeatable battle, you'll just never be able to do it. But you can keep Xing it out, trying different things until until you figure it out. So sometimes it's good from a research standpoint, of course, doing a playthrough here where it's like, I'm trying to win, haha! -ha. Look, I cheated! It isn't the greatest thing, but like I said, I do want to go check out, maybe you'll be able to watch the game for the first time. I think I found a website you can watch it legally. I'll see, I'll have to check and see if I have to pay for it. But... We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. 
No, but I'm excited. Hopefully, when you guys are watching this video on Thursday, the Lightning are our new Stanley Cup champions in 2021, back-to-back. -back. That is the hope. Bring it home in Tampa. That's the hope here. I was actually thinking about I did do the bonus video on Wednesday uh, with this new sketch card. I was thinking about doing an Alley Reacts, checking out prices of uh, Game 5 tickets, and then I, I just forgot. I filmed one video, and I was like, oh, we have a Wednesday bonus. I was going to look-see, but then... Uh, Things did run a little bit late earlier. I did actually take, you know, bonus. Could talk about this in the alley chat. Do have to film that most likely on Friday. But did take Niv to the vet. Just a wellness visit. Got her little, her little microchip so that she's legal in the state of Florida. I had till the end of the month to get that done. So all you haters report away. Niv is all squared up. Well, Niv's squared up and she's squared away too. But anyway, so Niv's all good. So that, that did take some time earlier. So I, I, I'm running late in general. But I had a great time here in this episode of Alley Plays. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and smack that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. Like I said, if you've played Slay the Spire as well, I'm thinking that if I didn't kill off the one little dude, it would have only summoned one instead of two fresh ones. So that might have been a big component to why I lost here. Let me know if you've experienced that in the comment section down below. And of course, if you have any other things for me, go ahead and leave that down there as well. And if you're not yet part of the Alley's Treasure Trove family, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But before I get on out of here for the evening, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. I really, truly appreciate your above and beyond support. Do have six ultimate excavators. Why is my thing covered up? No, it's not. I'm just blind. Dustin Archuleta, Jack Prez, Keith Moon, Mako, Mark Lennon, and Stephen Olivo. Two gemstone miners, and then Stephen Bly. And one crystal collector, David Mounts. But thank you so much to all of my patrons, whether you're at a tier in which I say your name at the end of every video or not. Really do appreciate all of your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, every single one of you. But that does it here for this episode. We had a very nice, nearly 45-minute fulfilling uh, aside from the fact that I lost, but otherwise felt like we got good gameplay, got the orbs to work the way I wanted. I told you I was good at orbs, showed it, and then lost it there at the end. Although, I think that's due to other factors than the orbs not doing what they needed to. That was all on me. I take full blame for this, for this loss here. Definitely a bit disappointing, but I had a great time, so I hope you did as well. But that's it for me here in this video. Thank you so much, everybody, for checking on on out. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me next time as we unearth some more treasures here on Allie's Treasure Trove. As I was mentioning, should be having an Allie chat this weekend. We'll be getting to film that hopefully on Friday. If not, of course, we'll go ahead and film it on Saturday. But that will be the next episode here this upcoming Sunday. And of course, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming on Tuesday. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next episode. Bye!